All right, guys, so we're going to be going through the best famous Scourge teams here today for the famous Scourge event. It's going to be going live tonight. We're going to go through each individual note. We got 18 teams that we're going to cover because we wanted to provide a variation of teams that you can use for each one of these notes here. Just as a quick reminder, though, in regards to the requirements and what you need um, for your first two nodes, you need city characters here for nodes three and four. You need mutant characters for node five. If you're doing difficulty four, you only need hero, but you will for difficulty five and higher need either a force in human or young Avengers Node six and seven. You will need your villain team for nodes eight and then nine. You're going to need cosmic. Uh, if you're only if you're doing difficulty four, you only need cosmic for node eight, but then for node nine, you'll need cosmic and mystic. Anything higher than that, you're gonna need cosmic and mystic. And then for node nine again, you can use hero if you're doing um two, three, four, two through four, but you will need your A Force and Human or Young Avengers for difficulty five. So this is a quick reminder in regards to what you would need. So in terms of the city characters, I came up with three different variations, but there's definitely more variations that you can use here. Um, I like the idea of Kingpin and Mr. Negative. They synergize very well together. Kingpin is going to provide you with a ton of utility and value there. Offense up, defense up. You're also going to get the bodyguards that are going to spawn with Taunt. You can get additional bodyguards that are on that also have Taunt as well. So I think there's a really lot of really good value there. Mr. Negative is a phenomenal kit, and I think it's going to be helpful. Shang-Chi, an immense amount of damage. Now, I threw in Cloak and Dagger here because if players have already built up Cloak and Dagger, they're going to work very well with this comp. You're going to get a lot of debuffs, a lot of damage and bleeds and things like that that you can throw out there. Dagger can provide some regenerations for the most injured allies with her basic um, ability here. So I definitely, and also she can give offense up to adjacent um, allies too. So that definitely works pretty well for Shang-Chi and then also of course Cloak. So for me personally, I like this comp. But of course, if you don't want to use your cloak and dagger because you don't want to build them up because you haven't built them already, I want to make this very clear. This is only for people who've already built them. I'm not going to tell you to build them if you haven't built them already. Um, then you can throw in some other characters here like Spider-Man 2099, who is an arena character right now. A lot of players are using a ton of value there. Also in Cosmic Crucible, good character. And then OG Spider-Man. I just figured if you've already built up your Web Warriors team, maybe you already used it for Pestilence Scourge and you can throw in Spider-Man here would definitely work on this team, helps out with some defense down, can help with some stuns later on, things like that. So I definitely think that there's some good value there. Or you could then choose to just go with Web Warriors, right? Like if you've already used your Web Warriors before, your Web Warriors will be fine here. I would probably just swap out Spider-Punk and then probably throw in Spider-Man 2099. I think you're gonna get a little bit more value there. Or if you wanna use Spider-Punk and maybe you wanna save Spider-Man Miles for Note 5, to use them in young, uh, with the Young Avengers, you can also then do that as well. But that's what I think will definitely work for you. Now, in terms of the mutant section, I, if you have the full unlimited team, if you have Rogue and you have the full unlimited team, they're going to be the best team for your nose three and four here. That's definitely what I would work with. Now, if you don't have that, there's a couple of different variations that you can go with. So this is the one that I used the very first time before I unlocked Rogue, Beast, Storm, Jubilee, Magic, and then also Bishop, fun team actually uh, that I play with here. Um, but the idea was to build up Storm's charges by using magic. And then of course, having it ready on turn one once I went into the second node for mutants. So that way I would either be able to use Storm to then clear with offense up because I would then also have um, Beast, his ultimate available as well. So then be able to get offense up from Beast and then have Storm either clear the first wave or then clear the second wave. Um, so basically you're using that first order just to build up her charges, kind of similar to what you may have done in that Death Scourge run as well. That's what I would do here with Storm in my personal opinion. Um, you could also go with a X-Men comp, right? Like use Phoenix, Colossus, Magic, Storm, and then Psylocke you can throw on here. Psylocke can help out with clearing some debuffs and things like that. Uh, so that could definitely help as well. However, you're probably not going to be able to use Phoenix on that first node and then have her, you're not going to be able to use our first node and then have her for the second node, right? Because once she, of course, goes to Dark Phoenix, you won't have her then for the second node. So you probably maybe want to take her out and then maybe you throw in Beast and kind of like win it by a thousand paper cuts at that point or death by a thousand paper cuts. If you kind of want to mow the node down that way, that is a direction that you can go in as well. Um, and then throw in Phoenix on that second node you know, that you can kind of get some, and then of course, try to save your charges as well with Storm. I think you're going to do pretty well there, um, in my opinion. And then you could also use like the X Factor team with Gambit 
that was also a team that i used as well i think for the for like a sacrifice on the second node i used them and then threw in this this comp that i did on the first run here with storm beast magic um jubilee and, and bishop that worked very well for me uh, so you can also, you know, like I said, sack the, use this team to sack because I did have Gambit at the time. Use this team to sack on that second node and then go in with this team uh, for yourself, you know, as, as kind of like a cleanup. And then for your hero comp, I forgot to throw a hero team down here, but there's a lot of good hero characters that are out there that you won't use later on. Like Captain America Sam, there's Sharon Carter, there's Maria Hill, there's Shuri. There's a lot of really good hero characters that are available to you. Um, that you can actually use for the hero section if you don't have young avengers or if you have some of the young avengers already available to you then you can also use them here as well it's kind of up to you in regards to how you want to kind of approach it but if you're going to be doing difficulty five and higher young avengers are the best team the best team that's out there man um that's definitely going to be pretty solid for you to use this full young avengers team what i did is that i actually sacrificed with inhumans first so i went in with my inhumans team Obviously, of course, I have a decent, decently enough built up yo-yo. I have a, I use Black Bolt in Dark Dimension uh, 5. So I had these characters there. I sacked on the first node, um, on that node 5, and then went in with Young Avengers to, to clean up. Um, but that was kind of super sweaty because I was throwing a lot of Scourges on. Uh, you probably wouldn't need to do that. You probably can just go straight in with your Avengers team um, and then going to go from there. Or this strategy may work for you, at least sacrificing with a team that you can. Um, if you do not have the full Young Avengers team, I did throw in a variation here that could work for you too, like Miss Marvel, Squirrel Girl, JJ, CM, Captain Marvel, and then Spider Woman. Um, you're going to get a lot of value here. So, I mean, the damage is going to be a little slower over time because you're really only big damage dealer here is Captain is Captain Marvel. Although Spider Woman is not a slouch either. She does pretty good damage too. Um, and you can also get some some additional debuffs from her too, like ability block, defense down, uh, things like that as well. So therefore, you can get some good value. And then JJ, very good with the cleanses, but also can provide ability energy. Of course, Squirrel Girl is an amazing healer, and it can also do uh, can also help out with some cleanses too. And of course, Miss Marvel will kind of close, well not close, but will will save them by gaining taunt whenever any of them gets below fifty percent. So that also will benefit you as well. So if you don't have a full Young Avengers team, then you can at least try to go with that. Um, in my opinion, that definitely will work for you. All right. And then next on this list here, um, this is your villain section, right? So for villains, I would rock with, well, this is the best villain team. Um, I'm kind of ignoring this team right now. I'm going to the second team, but this is the best villain team. If you, you know, Dormammu, Emma, Omega Red, Morgan, Agatha, you could probably take out Agatha and throw in Doom, but I think the team is slower at that point. So I kind of like the idea of having Agatha here. Uh, for some actual debuffs and stuff but if you don't have let's say morgan or dormammu or omega red then this team of the right here can actually work as well so hella with zemo magneto emma and dr strange heartless my one major concern with this team are cooldowns i don't think the cooldowns are that great so you could run into some issues there where you know you just it's out of, you're just out of ability. You have to kind of basic a lot. But that turn one cloak, that turn one ability, uh, AOE blind from Magneto is going to be huge. You can then control with ability block here. Um, and you can build up his ultimate to kind of get ready to do that. Um, having Greg here with Hella will, will also be helpful too. You can also spread ability block um, with her ultimate from Zemo. There's a lot of really good things that you can do there in terms of like um, character mechanics or game mechanics that could definitely work. And of course, you do have Emma to clear some buffs. She can also clear all positive effects off the enemy team too. Um, so clear some debuffs off of you and then clear positive effects off the enemy team um, as well could work too. I did throw in here just in case you didn't use, you use a separate city team that you can always throw Kingpin and then also Mr. Negative here too. You can get some value there. And then also here, like if you were around for Nemesis, Dark Beast, then you can also use Emma with Emma synergizes with mutant villains. Um, you can then use um, Magneto, Dark Beast, Nemesis. These these characters here will definitely do fine for you in these in those villain notes too. Like I think you're gonna get a lot of value. You can even swap out Zemo and then throw in Hela. Like you, you know, you can get some good value there. You can once again spread ability block that Beast can throw out there um, from with Hella too. So 
a lot of a ton of little value that you can get from a lot of these characters here. Villains are tough at sections, so I wanted to provide the most that I possibly could here that would potentially be helpful for most players. All right, and then um, this is your your cosmic section. So if you're just gonna go straight cosmic, then you know Hela could be an option here as well. But Eternals are phenomenal. Deathpool, Kestrel, really good, like really good um, comp that you're gonna work with here. I definitely would say that that's gonna do well. But also you can use the full infinity watch team right like that's an option that you can that you have available to you too uh for your cosmic mystic there's a couple of variations here that i like cersei hella deathpool dormammu and icarus yeah top tier option there if you don't have dormammu then you can once again throw in hella if you didn't use her for villains although maybe if you did use her for villains you could throw some other characters this is going to be kind of hard carried though by the Eternals team with Deathpool. That's really kind of what's going to hard carry this. You can use um, Strange, Doctor Strange Heartless. You can actually build up his ultimate in that first node. And then you can also then throw him into the second node with his ultimate re ready, available, and then also hopefully killing a character. Then get happy because then he'll gain offense up. And if he gains that offense up, then you can do that ultimate. Um, and that second node that would also work well too. I also thought about um, oh, I was gonna say that what I did, which probably not won't be as sexy for a lot of people, but I actually in the first cosmic mystic section, what I did was actually use Thanos and then I used Silver Surfer. Um, because Hella wasn't built up at the time, but I used Thanos to then pro um, to then provide ability energy constantly over to Icarus, which means that Icarus was able to get his ultimate a little bit faster a couple of times. Uh, so that also did work too. Uh, that's one thing that you could potentially do if you decide to go in that direction. I right, said, so guys, appreciate you watching the video. If you like stuff like this, where I go through different team variations that you could use uh, for the Scourge events, then hit the like button, subscribe as well. Also the notification bell so that you know when the video will go live. Down below in the description, there's a few links that are there. Link where you can join my Discord. There's also links to my Instagram, Facebook, uh, where you can connect, well, connect with me on social media. I think I took Facebook out, but Twitter um, is probably a better one there. But listen, appreciate you guys watching the video. Until the next time, guys, y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe.